I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Brett and Gianna here with today's morning announcements for Tuesday, November 12th, 2019. Today's lunch is freshly baked Italian dunkers with marinara sauce, steamed carrot coins, and a choice of fruit and milk. Miss Castronovo is organizing an art team to participate in painting and creating items that may be needed for the musical. It would be a great way for students that may be stage shy to be involved. There is a sign-up sheet outside the art room. You do not need to take an art class in order to sign up. Operation Generation CV wants the high school to celebrate World of Kindness Day tomorrow, Wednesday, November 13th, by wearing your favorite sweater and tennis shoes. This honors Mr. Rogers, a man who devoted his life to teaching children about kindness on his show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, for 33 years. This television show was produced right here in Pittsburgh. Please show your support of kindness to one another by wearing a sweater and tennis shoes tomorrow. Texas Roadhouse is now hiring. All positions are available. Find more information and apply online at apply.texasroadhouse.com. Attention juniors and seniors. All National Honor Society permission slips to apply are due today at 3 p.m. Please turn the form into Mrs. Jones, room B114. Wednesday is the last day for you to submit your roster for this year's intramural basketball season. Any Central Valley students in grade 9 through 12 who are not participating in varsity, JV, or 9th grade basketball are welcome to create or join a team for this year's intramural basketball season. The rules, regulations, and rosters are available on the counter in the high school office. If you plan on playing during this year's intramural season, you must either create a team or be certain that you are on a team's roster. If you want your team in this year's league, your roster must be turned in to Mr. Emler in North A 107 before the end of the school day on Wednesday. FBLA will be having a meeting on Wednesday during Academic Study Hall. Please try to attend as we will be discussing the testing of your events. That's all we have for your announcements today, CV. Have a great day. Now here is Chloe and Josh with your sports. Good morning, Central Valley. I'm Chloe Herrick with Josh Campbell, and we're here to give you some upcoming news on sports today. Congratulations to the football team on beating Derry last week and making it to the Whitfield Championship. The game will be played at Heinz Field this Saturday the 16th. The game will start at 2 p.m. If you are interested in riding the student bus up there, please check your email. The cost of the bus will be $5, and the money is due by Friday at 2.35. Please turn your money in to Mr. Pekovican or Mr. Shakun. Also, pre-sale tickets will be sold at the school Wednesday through Friday. On Wednesday, tickets will be sold in the high school office from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. and Thursday and Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the athletic office. Student tickets are $5 and adult tickets are $10. That's all we have for your sports today, CB. Now here's Cody and Brent with a special segment on Veterans Day. Central Valley. It's Brent and Cody here celebrating Veterans Day. Originally titled Armistice Day, Veterans Day has been celebrated since November 11th, 1919, the first anniversary of the end of World War I. In 1938, Congress passed it as a national holiday. President Dwight D. Eisenhower officially changed the holiday's title from Armistice Day to Veterans Day in 1954 after the nation's next two wars, the Second World War and the Korean War. This national holiday honors and gives thanks to all veterans who served during war or peacetime during all wars. Not only does the United States celebrate the holiday, but so does Great Britain, France, Australia, and Canada, which are some of America's strongest allies, also commemorate their veterans throughout history. Canada also has a Remembrance Day where many of the citizens wear red poppy flowers to honor fallen soldiers. Britain has a Remembrance Sunday on the second Sunday of November. Europe usually has a two-minute silence at 11 a.m. as part of the remembrance. Veterans Day is on November 11th every year to honor the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month that ended World War I. In 1968, the holiday was moved to the fourth Monday of October by the Uniform Holidays Bill until Gerald Ford moved it back for its historical significance for our country. Here's a video thanking all of our veterans for their service across the United States.
2018, there are at least 18.2 million living veterans who served in at least one war. However, the number of veterans continues to fall with age. Out of the 16 million Americans who served during World War II, only close to 500,000 are still alive. If someone you know served our country, please thank them for their service on this day. Ask them about their experiences. And until next time, Central Valley, this is Brent and Cody, signing off.